so we have put in third section and we will put in fourth section as well and then we will remove the things whatever is not needed for us okay so this is create okay now second section i have to make as a read okay so where is second okay so this is first section and this is read okay i uh, hope i'm going correctly this is update and this is delete okay so html is taking time so yeah pretty good html came now in this only i want xbox okay so you go to delete part and remove everything else oh here i am there in the delete part and i would say select the id this would be id of one of i don't need this tier i don't need this either okay and we'll say delete delete button success let's say danger we'll put danger as well so we are just correcting our styles here okay cool yeah this is fair enough i would say this would be read only i will tell you why read only all right in this i don't need any form as well why the hell if i'm have to deal with one value what is the need of the form okay cool so i don't need that and i will get something like this okay cool so this section is perfect let's go and check the uh, read section so read section we have to create where is this is the read okay table border is fine built but this whole thing i don't need this i don't need okay of course we just need one tier and it will do my job and minute td we want will decide it so we would need td so we need four dds especially okay so we will put here as of now let it be like this like this and like this okay so uh, read even in this one i don't need any form okay so here you go and even why the hell it is like this i will cut it i will take out like this i will put this over here get all records okay a good button success let's see warning okay okay so no we have to put some variables so i will put take this button so from control x and we'll put just parallel to read so from there onwards i can pick up all the records okay so we have created this html let's uh, create the html for <coughs> update as well okay so my power is down we'll put the charging point as well quickly laptop power is down sorry for that let's see okay 
so we'll go to update from now so we'll fix the update from immediately okay so let us name it update from okay cool that's all that's all here we'll go here in the component okay we'll say we want update form this type of form group okay goal okay no i don't need to copy update form now what i will do in ng on in it this is one of the form which we have created right okay let us create the update form as well okay and here simply we have to say update form that's all it got created it got created cool okay so let's insert the record so now we have to create one model all right here yeah, of course model where we will hold the value of the form so we have to create model so model for what whatever the form value would be there we have to hold those values in uh, some of the <coughs> placeholder we say so we'll create one file over here new file app dot model and let's say student we are trying to student dot model dot ts okay we'll say export interface okay so we'll export interface and we'll say we have one id property this type of uh, number number tool add name property this type of a string okay so yeah i will hold on Oops. so let's go so let me copy this model from here yeah i have already that model but it was not at the right place and right moment okay so we have this model as well so quickly we have created the model now we'll go to app component.html and will uh, create the code for save so here is the button success save okay and we'll say we wanted to have the click event click event of this one and which will say save okay so let's go and create the click event of this so quickly we will be able to create it yeah that's fair enough okay let's go and have the save event over here first event okay save event this is save event what we want is let's say we want the value of this input form form colon let's say this is student array okay all right let's see here in the save okay this dot is equal to what this dot insert form dot value so whatever the value you are having the form assigned to this and will post these values to the service all right so let's create the service as well which we have not created so we'll create the service now 